Hi, my name is Van Fan. I'm here at Pure Storage and I'm a technical marketing engineer. And I'm here to talk to you about Windows File Services on Purity Run. And the point of this is we want to address customers who typically today are block centric, meaning they are mostly fiber channel or iSCSI connected for their servers. And they want to add some file services. So to do that, there are a few options of doing it and they have various benefits uh, and drawbacks. So we want to address them all and show them an alternative. So the first option is to go out and buy their own NAS appliance or NAS device to provide these file services like SMB, NFS, SIFS, etc. Here it is. Typically, it would be a NAS box. And that will be alongside of their current existing block device doing either fiber channel or iSCSI. So again, the advantages are that they have obviously block and file, but they will also have additional cost because a NAS device dedicated is not the cheapest thing in the world. They have additional management that they'd have to learn and manage two devices. And then it also takes up space and cooling, which also adds to the cost. Now, the second option is to DIY, do it themselves, which means they would go ahead and use their current block storage. That would mean they would attach additional servers, cable them up, zone them up, and do everything themselves. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So they would typically have their own current block storage, and that block storage would be cabled up to your switches. And assuming they already had that, that's probably not as big of a deal. But then now they'd have to go out and buy some compute power. So those are your servers. And again, they'd have to cable those up. And then after that, they'll have to zone them as well. And then after that, they would install the OS or the hypervisor. And if they are doing a hypervisor, they would then have to create some VMs out of those. And once they have the VMs, they would install the OS, which is whatever the, their favorite NFS uh, or SMB um, software. And uh, then they would typically have to cluster them because you want to have HA and failover. And then after that, they can create their file servers that would then be connected to the client doing SMB or NFS. So all those steps take time, uh, racking and stacking, cabling, zoning, and also cost for potential licenses if there is, uh, for example, an ESX license. So that's one option, but again, the management and the time, the power and cooling, uh, it takes away from uh, doing it yourself. Now how we do it at Peer Storage is take everything you see here in the do-it-yourself world and put it all on the flash array and automate it for you so you don't have to do much except for run a few commands. And how we do that is leverage Purity Run. Purity Run is a virtualized environment that is on the flash array itself. So what you have here is the flash array. And within the flash array, we carve out some dedicated resources on the flash array and we call that Purity Run. And again, within Purity Run, you can deploy various apps. One of those apps is Windows File Services. And how we deploy that is we automatically create these VMs and we store Windows Server inside them. And then what we'll do is we'll create a cluster. 
And we'll also join the customer's environment. So we'll join your domain, we'll set the IPs for you. And once that is set, we'll go ahead and create these virtual file servers. And at this point, we hand it over to the customer and say, this is your environment now, go ahead and do whatever you want. Specifically, now you can go ahead and do file services by creating these shares. And at this point, you have your clients. that can now connect to your shares using SMB or NFS to have additional storage. And you will now have your E volume or F volume. And if you want additional storage as well and expand that even further, you can create more volumes, connect them up to each of the VMs and expand your storage. Now, the great thing about this is Everything is simple and built into the box. It's only a few commands you run and everything gets deployed. Number two, it is very cost efficient. Pretty much this environment is free. You don't have to buy anything. The only thing you have to supply is the Microsoft licenses for the Windows servers. Three is management because most customers are already familiar with Microsoft and Windows, and so they are comfortable with it. It's a proven solution, it's robust, and so everything is already there, and it's not new to the market, and they'll be able to use it right out of the box. And then the last thing here are the services from Peer. So customers will still be able to benefit from the data reduction, the replication, snapshots, QoS, etc. So everything is already built in the box and they'll continue to be able to use it. And that's it for me with Windows File Services. Hopefully it's straightforward and you can see the benefits of using it. Now, as you can compare to the other ones, again, you can buy your own new box and additional management space and cost. You can do it yourself or you can do it within the flash array using Puri Run. So again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.